with another video. Alright, so today we in Minecraft. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a subway station in Minecraft. This subway station is gonna be primarily based off of New York City and Chicago. So if you live in New York City or Chicago, you're gonna see some similarities. Uh, we currently playing in the regular Minecraft texture pack. Uh, I got a super flat world right here. Um, now some blocks is gonna vary. Uh, you could do this either in the regular normal Minecraft texture pack or the city texture pack. Some blocks will vary. Uh, so let's get started. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to clear out a 157 by 17 by 20 block radius. When you clear that out, it's gonna be looking like this. I use the fill command. So I told you guys you just want to fill out a 157 by 17 by 20 block area. It should look a little bit like this. Now, here's how the, it's going to look, just a rough dimension. You're going to have the platform wall, one, two, three, four, five, six blocks of a platform. Then you're going to have the platform edge. It's going to be either blue or yellow, terracotta or concrete, depending on what color you want to use here. Then you're going to have the tracks. It's going to be one, two. You're going to have the middle part, the median of the tracks. One, two. Going to get back to the platform edge six more blocks for the platform and then platform wall that's the basis of how it's going to look so you're going to want to take all this all the way down 157 blocks down there and i'll catch you guys here when we're done with that cue the time lapse So when you guys have finished doing the platforms, this is how it should look with this space cleared out here in the middle. Now in the middle, you're just going to want to put the tracks. So you want to grab some black concrete. And we're going to be using black concrete for the tracks. So you're going to clear out this space. It's going to be one block lower than um, the platform height. So we're just going to want to clear out all this dirt if you haven't already. And we're going to put the black concrete there um, to get ready to put the, um, the tracks down. So when you have this uh, the tracks filled in, right? We want to have this little median right here separating the two tracks, and the tracks will be going over here on this side. But before you put the tracks in, we are going to build up the, the tunnel walls. And if you're wondering what this is right here, this is going to be kind of the the supporting pillars holding up the station. We're going to use probably some walls for that. Um, some type of black walls for that so anyways what you want to want to get for this now if you want a city texture pack you want to want to get um, some quartz blocks so when you get your quartz blocks I believe it's this one right here let me double check that it is not this block let me let me try and find that real quick I'll get back to y'all when when I find the block found a block all right so the block is going to be white wool um 
if you are on the regular Minecraft texture pack, you're going to want to just use white concrete. But remember, you can change up the design of the station at any time. The walls of the station, whatever, you can change up the design. This is just a basic platform design that I'm teaching you guys. Um, if you want to freshen your platform up a little bit, go ahead. Um, this is going to be the basic though. So when you see me building the exits, it's going to be the basic type of exits. So you can take inspiration from your own city you live in or whatever, your own station that you buy. And you can take inspiration from that. So we're just going to fill up the both of these platform walls and then we're going to get started on the tracks. So we're going to queue the time lapse right now. building up the platform walls it should look a little bit like this you're supposed to build them up four blocks high and that's it um so now what we're going to do is we're going to build the the ceiling up now what you want to do is you want to grab some sandstone for the ceiling and you're going to see um what i'm about to do now we're just going to build the platform ceiling for now the the track ceiling is going to look a little bit different so we're going to want to grab some cut sandstone or smooth sandstone if you are on the original texture pack and going to do that oh, wrong block going to do this right now you're going to want to keep this design going until this block right here this block right here is going to be filled with glowstone or or sea lanterns depending on your preference so we're going to put the glowstone here. Glowstone is going to be on this block. And then you're going to have the platform, the, the, the track um, ceiling right here. Now, that's four blocks high. The platform, the, um, the track one will be five. We're going to have to raise this up a little bit because the track one is going to have a different type of design. It's going to be kind of a, I don't know how to explain it, but the design is going to look kind of like this. So every three block interval, you're going to want to put these little um, downsize blocks right here. And you're going to keep repeating that all the way down there for the 157 blocks. So for these right here, to avoid you guys seeing um, this part right here, you're going to want to put black concrete over here. So let's get started. So I made a mistake with these platform walls. You're supposed to bring them up five blocks high, so you can't see the uh, the dirt behind here. And instead of building out this whole last row of sandstone, you're gonna want to take any block. It could be green, white, blue, black, any type of block. You're gonna want to put them right here. Oh, the wrong one. I'm gonna take green, for instance, green concrete. And we're gonna put this in five block intervals. So at the fifth block, you're gonna want to put that there. So it's gonna be two blocks away from the tracks every five blocks, if that makes any sense. So after all that's done, you're gonna see it really turning out to be a subway station. So I'll come back with um after the time lapse, after everything is done, and we'll show you how the uh, how the station looks so far. Oh, <laughs> oh,
finished the platforms look excuse the llamas a wanderer came down here um, anyways though I finished the platforms this is how they should look you look all the way down there you can see the pillars now with the pillars you can put um, signs such as let's get a sign here so you can take some signs put them down and you can write the station name whatever you want the station name to be let's put 9th Street it could be something like that I'm not going to do that here um, since it's a simplified subway station just showing you how it should look how it can look you know what I mean um, anyways now what we going to do we want a final stretch of the station I'm not going to be showing you how to build the mezzanine I'm going to show you a picture of the mezzanine because I feel like the mezzanines should be up to you however y'all um, want to set it up so with these little pillars right you gonna want to bring them down each time they have these little overhangs here in the top you gonna want to bring down a pillar to have them here in the center and this is gonna be kind of like what's separating the track and what's kind of holding up the whole um, the track part of the station so we're gonna get that done and I'm gonna show you guys how the mezzanine and how other stations could look with different types of designs and stuff So I put in the pillars, right? So you guys gonna want to come to the center of the station. Just this is just about the center of the station right here. You are going to want to remove these five lights on each side. You want to grab some white and black concrete. This goes for any texture pack. You want to want to grab some white and black concrete, and you're gonna want to put it in a zebra formation, kind of like this here. Now this is. For when the train stops in the station, the conductor points at this board in New York City to show that the train is fully inside the station at the correct spot. So you're going to want to do this on both sides. Now when I show you guys the other subway stations with the other designs, I won't have those zebra stripes there because um, my system has one um, person controlling the train and opening the doors and it's just a hassle to continue putting that for each subway station so what we're going to do is we're going to just extend the tracks you can put in power rails wherever you want I'm just putting detective rails so you won't see any um any redstone torches and we're just going to continue that there so when you get to the zebra stripes down here you're just going to want to put three unpowered rails so the train's gonna stop directly in the middle of the station. Just hit the mic. The, the train's gonna stop directly in the middle of the station. Um, that's a guarantee. And the station is just about complete. We just gonna add the rest of these rails in and station's gonna be done. So yeah guys, that's how you make a subway station in Minecraft. So yeah, let me show you the other stations now. Alright guys, we are in my Minecraft city now. I just wanted to show you guys how to make, um, how the elevated stations should look. Now, I'm on a different texture pack. Excuse the different um, colors. I was experimenting with the city texture pack, seeing how it would look on this one. This is the color that it should look like. Um, light blue terracotta is what I'm using. This is a different texture pack though. So this is how the elevated station should look. Very clean, a white elevated station. Um, with a little bit of glass. Um, I kind of wanted to make a green and white like NYC um, elevator stations, but I decided to give it more of a modern look with the black elevators. I really like how these look. We take it down, and it takes us down to an underground station. Now, um, if we go back to street level, if we go all the way back, back over here to street level, you can see that we have the elevator station, and then we have the underground station around there. It's free transfer down there. <clears throat> um... 
I kind of wanted to base it off of 161st Street, Yankee Stadium, on the BDM4 lines. So, yeah, you um, it's not actually a free transfer because you have to go out of fair control, but the Smart Link car will recognize that you came through here and it will give you a free transfer downstairs. So that's how the elevator stations, the, the template for elevator stations should look. We come down here, and I'm going to show you the underground stations. We have the, the Smart Link card vendor. That's why I call my little Metro cards, whatever. Smart Link card vendor. And if I get rid of these two, press the button, it will just give us a mine card instead of a real Smart Link card. Got emergency exits here with glass to see through. Go through. Got the turnstiles. Got a little water fountain, waterfall kind of thing right here. Go down. Got the elevators here. And this is how the station looks. You see I got a kind of green design here. Exodus Avenue. And the elevators are inside of this with the two staircases going up. Now we come all the way over here. This is how the basis of your subway station should look. We go through the tunnel. The tunnel got this kind of brick type look. I used per dark prismarine um, with these lights going through the tunnel. And we're going to go to the next station to show you guys that not every station has to have the same look. This is how my next station looks. It's going to be Canary Gardens. And you can see it has a colorful kind of look with these um, night blue glazed terracottas. Now I'm on a different texture pack too. Um, this is the modern texture pack I'm using on PS4 right now. So I, as you can see here, um, the colors continue to change throughout the station. So now all stations have to look the same. And we continue off. I'm gonna just show you guys that uh, your subway stations and systems can't just be all plain and stuff. You gotta have some depth to them. I have another subway line coming downstairs it, it goes um it connects up with a highway along um along a highway in the middle of the center of the highway and it'll turn into this an express um four lane express track down there but i'm i'm kind of too lazy to do all that but let me show you guys like you got you gotta come up with some good ideas to make your subway system subway stations unique and all that so we come over here as you can see, it's a steep incline over here, but it comes out into an open space, and you can see it starts going along the, the highway over here. So now I'm going to show you guys, yeah, that's my city over there. So now I'm going to show you guys um, how the express station should look. Now the express station I'm going to show you guys ain't fully completed yet. But it's halfway done. I just want to show you guys how the track lay Show you guys how the express stations to look. This is my city right here. We um we come down the block. You gonna see I got the bike lanes here. You gonna see my my subway station right here now. You can have subway stations inside of buildings. As you can see here inside this building right here, I based it off of the, the World Trade Center number three, Lower Manhattan. You come down here, you can see you got the, the entrance to the subway station down here. And you can see you got a green type of look right here. Excuse all this right here. Uh, the field command was not trying to comply with me. Um, but anyways, you can see I got my, my smart link machines here. Got my little smart link um, card vendor right here with the computer. So you got you to freshen up the subway stations. You can see I got the elevators here going well elevators escalators right here um and stairs so you got the stair right here and escalator going up escalator going down um walk through here got the emergency exits and some glass to see through pay the fare and we come down here this is how your express station is going to look most of your express stations should look like this it's going to have your local track right here your express tracks right here so you're going to have one local track on this side. You're going to have the two express tracks right here and another local track over here. So I'm going to base it off of New York real quick. Let's say 42nd Street, Grand Central on the 4, 5, and 6. This will be the 6th train right here on the local track. And the 4 and the 5 will be on the express tracks right here. So this is how most of your express stations look. You can also have express station looking like um, 125th Street on the 4, 5, and 6. How you have local 
on the bottom and express on the top or local on one side express on the other side and it has it mirrored on the uh, on the upper level if that makes any sense so like I was saying before you just gotta you gotta switch up the look see I switched up the ceiling look for this station and the station got a kind of blue theme I based that based that off of New York as well with most of the B division lines um, after every express station they switch the look so one express station will be blue the next express station will be red and every station in between those two express stations will also have the the same color as the nearest downtown station it's just kind of confusing but yeah guys that's how you build subway stations in minecraft i show you guys the, i showed you guys the elevated um stations how those kind of look um this is how your turnstile should look you should have the exit signs you can make this um, look however you want honestly you don't have to have the glass there you can have iron bars or whatever um, and your mezzanine don't have to look like this I build the basic mezzanines right now because my stations my stations I want them to hold a lot of people that's why I build these basic um, kind of low-level mezzanines you know but you could get kind of fancy with them do whatever you like just I showed you guys how the basis of your subway station should look. Um, every station should not look the same. Uh, you gotta switch them up, or else they'll, they'll just be looking bland and plain the whole time. You gotta switch your subway stations up. But I showed you the basis. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Uh, if you didn't, I don't care. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye.